The second part of developing emotional intelligence, or EI, is being able to identify what others are feeling and why. Being good at understanding what other people are feeling and why will improve your chances for success in school, on the job, and in relationships. For example, let's pretend you're old enough to work. Your boss is normally a really nice guy, and you two get along great. Now let's suppose your boss gets an assignment from his boss with a very unrealistic deadline. With a stressful deadline hanging over him, he comes to you in a very irritated way, and with his voice raised, tells you to hurry up and finish your task. Normally, someone might get their feelings hurt or become angry because of the unexpected way their boss treated them. But if you have spent time developing your emotional intelligence, you're able to determine the reason your boss acted the way he did. Rather than being too angry or hurt to concentrate on the job at hand, you are able to control your reactions and keep your focus. Because you remain focused, you get your part of the project done on time. Your boss is able to complete his task on time. The end result is you build a reputation as a person who can deliver under pressure, a person who can get things done on time. Now stop and think for a moment. What do you suppose the outcome would be if you let your boss's behavior control your emotions? Can you see how being able to understand what other people are feeling and why is so important?